Greetings, you are once again welcome to my channel, DR Flamingo LL Lawson. Now, before we start today's lesson on algebraic expression, please don't forget to sign in to our channel if you have not done that. You can also interact with us at the comment section, and don't forget to share, and you can also like our videos. Now, let's look at a general mathematics topic called algebra. Now, what is algebra? Algebra happens to be one of the fundamental mathematics. It's as if no algebra, no math. So you need to understand algebra before you can build upon other forms of mathematics. Now let's start algebra. Okay. Okay. So let's look at addition and subtraction of algebra. How do we add and how do we subtract algebra? And what are some of the things to look out for? I see the problem with most students is their plus and minus, addition and subtraction, right? When something goes to the other side of the equation, does it become a negative? When I'm putting two things together, how do I do them? That is the problem. Now let's look at them here in algebra. So let's start from here. All right. 5x plus 4 minus 9y plus 3x plus 2y minus 7. So whenever I'm doing this equal to what I'm going to write here, now, there is one principle in algebra that you have to note. This plus is controlled by the, this 4. So the operation signs are controlled by the numbers in front of them. Good. This is also controlled by this. This is controlled by this. This is also controlled by this. This is also controlled by that. No wonder. That is why even if this 4 has to leave here and cross an equal to sign, it becomes negative over there. That is one principle. That is also one principle that students are not using. That is why they are still struggling with algebra. Good. And don't forget, algebra is a fundamental mathematics. No algebra, no math. So let's group them. Now, this 5x and 3x are alike. So that is 5x plus 3x. Now, this y and this y here are also the same. This belongs to the 9, so it comes with it. So look at it. Plus 2y. Now, this plus belongs to this 4. Now, this 4 and 7. Good. Now, what are you seeing here? 8x. But hold on, come to think of it. We cannot even add 5x squared plus 3x. In the addition rule, before we add, the variable should have the same powers or exponents. We can't add this. It's not possible. But we can multiply this. Are you okay? Multiplication knows no boundary. It doesn't have any boundary. So take note. So minus, minus 9 plus 2, you get minus 7y. 4 minus 7, you get minus 3. I cannot subtract 7y from 8s. It's not going to work. So this happens to be my answer. Now the next question. So 4x squared y. Now that is x with a power. There is an x lacking a power. It means the compatible groupings should be this. x with a power, y no power. x with power, y no power. Yeah, so they're the same here. Now there is also what? This. So you, you can group them with the arrows. You finish just select them. There is also a y with a power, a y with a power. So they are similar. Now there is 4x squared plus 3x squared y. This way. Good. Now plus 5x y squared minus 2xy squared. Now, can I add this from the algebraic rule or the algebraic addition rule? The answer is yes. You see, there is a, there is a variable x with a square. Square, they are the same. Y, y, power 1, power 1. Or no power, so to speak, they are still the same. They can be added. So 4 plus 3 is 7. You factor one of this and that. That is how the addition goes. Right? Good. Now there is also 5 minus 3. You get 2. You get 3. That is x. I factor one. I factor one of these two. I stop here. Because there is no way I can add 7x squared y plus 3xy squared. 
they are not compatible. Right? Good. Now the last one. X squared plus X plus 2X squared. Now this and this are compatible. So I have 1X squared plus 2X squared. Why 1X squared? The missing or the hidden coefficient here is 1. That's what you see here. Plus this X. So this plus this is 3. And can I add them? Yes. But if this 2 wasn't here, I can't add this. Remember, before you add, the variable should have the same exponents. But I can multiply this, but I can't add this. I can only add this. S squared, S squared. So I factor one out. That's all. Plus X. I can't add this to this. They are not compatible. I end here. No wonder they are called expressions. That is my answer. Good. Okay. Okay. Let's continue from multiplication and division of algebraic expressions. Now, how do we multiply and how do we divide? So the first one, we have 4x by 8x squared. Even in normal sense, sense and normal terms, we cannot even add this. Because this x is having two exponents and there's no exponent here. But we can multiply this. So you go this way. The numbers, first, 4, 8, 32. Now that is 1x by another x. It goes this way. It's x to the power 1 times x. It's x to the power 1 plus 2. Why this? Indices tells us when you are multiplying and the bases are the same. This x and this x are bases. Add their powers together. That is what you see here. So you are going to get 32s cubed. So that is how come we normally get 32 s cubed when we multiply. But in addition, we don't add powers, we don't multiply powers. We just make sure the exponents are the same, then we factor just one. Please note, that is also one line of confusion. Good. Let's try the next one again. 5xy squared times 4x4y cubed. Now, 5, 4 will give me 20. Now this is x to the power exponent 1. This is also 4. Indices say add the powers when you are multiplying and the bases. Does the carrier of the powers are the same. They are the bases. Now this is y2 plus another y. Good. So I have 20x5 y5. So that is how it goes. Now the third one. 16aqb divided by 2ab. We can even present this work this way like if you are used to this method. So this division sign you see is the same as this bar here. Now 2 can go here, you get 8. You can even try to even cancel out straight or still apply indices. Now let's try the indices at which first. Good. Now indices is saying that when you are dividing and the carrier of these powers or the bases are the same, subtract their powers. So that is what indices is saying. 8. A raised the power 3 minus 1. The 1 is coming from here. And this is B. This is also B. So B is 1 minus 1. So let's see something here. You have 8. A raised the power 2. And this B raised the power 0. Now every number raised to the power 0 is 1. So if it is 1, it happens that you get this. That is why our answer becomes 8a squared. Are you getting it? Now, this one is when you want to apply indices. Right? Good. Now, let's look at when you want to go straight, alternatively. So, I have 16aqb equals 2ab. Okay, let's see this. 2 goes here, 8. A goes here, a squared. It means when you take a power exponent 1 and a exponent 3, you get a exponent 2. b and b goes off. Then you have 8 a squared. And this is more simpler. But you need to see this. Why is it so? So these are the reasons why you multiply and get something square cube. But when you add, even if you add something x squared, y squared, you don't get x4. Because you are adding algebraic addition rule. You factor 1. 
and before you add, you make sure the variables have the same powers. That is it. So now multiplication of two binomials. Now what do we call binomials? Bi is two, nomial number. So two sets of numbers. That's the two binomials, right? Good. So most of the mathematics we see, general mathematics, further mathematics, we normally see these things in when we are solving, and we have to unleash them before we get the answer. But it becomes a problem. You can see they all start from algebra. So let's look at the expansion for this. That is x plus two, x plus four. So how do we multiply two binomials? That's the first thing to do. Take this, multiply it by this set. This plus is for these two. It also attacks the same set in the same way as you see. Good. So this representation. Always, it doesn't change. So this against the whole of this, and this against the whole of that. That's representation. So x by x will give me x squared. How did I know? X minus 1, x minus 1. In this is add powers, you get this. 4 by x is 4x. 2 times x is 2x. 2 plus 4 is 6. Now, this and this are also compatible, as you can see. So this is x squared plus 6x. Why 6x and not 6x squared? I am adding. I just have to make sure the variables have the same exponents, and I'm adding. I'm not multiplying. Good. Plus 6. It becomes an expression. We'll leave it that way. Good. Now, if you have to solve this quadratic, you'll be told. Then you go down, you'll break it accordingly. Now, let's look at the next. That is 2y plus 4, all squared. That is a perfect square expansion. It, it means open up brackets, that's double it. Now, 2y against 2y, so that is 2y against the whole of this. Present the work first. That will be very easy to treat. Good. So, 2 by 2, you get 4 y times y you get y squared 1 1 add powers indices 2y by this you get what 8y by in actual terms you can never add 2y to 4 but you can multiply multiplication has no boundaries good that is 4 2 8 y 4 4 16. now this and this are also compatible as you can see so we have 4y squared 8 plus 8 is 16y plus 16. That is how we multiply binomials. Good.